God bless you brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that this is the true food you guys have been feeding yourselves on before Jesus returns. I have a testimony guys and it's actually pretty insane. We always hear the name of Jesus is powerful. That you can move mountains by faith. You, you must believe and it'll happen right? You can tell it to jump into the ocean and it'll jump into the ocean right we always hear these things it seems oh yeah that's crazy i believe it but the thing is do we actually though sometimes it takes a little more than just saying we believe it to fully understand it well let me just start the testimony to be honest with you sometimes at night when we are driven by the holy spirit to go and see him obviously we can pray right here and there we can go to the room whatever right but i always loved the fact that the great men of god in the old testament they always separated themselves from the people they separated themselves from the civilization and then walked in the desert or whatever it may be but they were alone this time around she actually accompanied me my wife she went with me to this large field that I usually I, I would go to to speak to God more and just feel the wind and feel his presence a whole lot more just me and him we actually decided to bring our boy Prince our dog right he is very hard to see at night in the sunlight he shines truly his fur is just shiny but in the dark he's just he he blends in with the shadows that night was incredibly dark guys it was incredibly dark I don't remember a night as dark as that one that night we actually come face to face maybe 50 50 feet away to two wolves and I can tell you they were wolves, guys. You cannot mistake in the size of these things to coyotes. Even the tail themselves, it's just completely different. These guys were wolves. The thing is, I'm really surprised I saw wolves. And I myself was saying, nah, they can't be wolves. They gotta be coyotes. Until I searched up the their differences in size and everything. And even just the way they were shaped. I live in the middle of a city, so it's kind of crazy to see this. Obviously, there are forests here and there. There are trails. There are parks parks whatever right but where i was it's truly nearby a main street well we're on our knees just praying just enjoying the the wind enjoying that darkness to be honest with you it's truly a beautiful thing to just be in complete silence sometimes even in complete darkness to the point where even when you open your eyes you see nothing so there's nothing to distract you from just literally your conversation with god we see these two wolves our dog we didn't actually bring the leash this time usually he has this good respect for us right he really loves me uh <laughs> she won't like me saying this in the video but he really loves me and respects my voice to the fact where i call it a verbal leash with my voice alone he obeys and i praise the lord for that that's another story guys this time i was just holding him just around the the chest while he was sitting down with us while we were praying my wife started and i could tell you she was kind of fearful of the these uh, wolves because they were definitely eyeing us right and we weren't trying to be the biggest animal we weren't trying to be uh, loud we weren't trying to be anything to scare them off I know God is in charge right I knew God was in control of everything if he can command a huge whale or whatever that fish was to spit out Jonah onto dry ground I doubt the Lord will want these two wolves attacking these people, his people that are there to worship him. I saw it as a, as a test of faith. You are an, a predator, yes, but there is nothing you can do against those who walk in righteousness, those who walk in the righteousness of Christ, because our righteousness are like filthy rags to the Lord, right guys? So there we are, right? She's already talking a little too much about the wolves, and I'm like, let's go back to praying. Let's focus. And that almost reminds me of what Jesus told his disciples at the garden before he was arrested. Why do you sleep? You should be praying so that you do not fall into temptation. They slept anyway. So at this point, she was not practically sleeping, but her faith was to the point where she was easily distracted by what was going on around her. Usually it's not the trees or the sounds or whatever, but this time it's two literal wolves 50 feet away from us, eyeballing us and our dog. 
right? Our dog is no leash, no nothing. You already understand her panic a little bit. And most people would panic the same way. I mean, at a certain degree, I myself, my body was trying to make me panic. But living through the spirit, you understand God has control of everything. Obviously, I took my precautions in holding him and everything and continued to pray. I told her, let's focus back in the Lord. Prince is like following them, right? We can't even see them at a certain point because now they're hiding in this tall grass, right? They're hiding in the darkness and everything. Prince sees them. He can see them completely. He's following, he's following them to a certain point where, guys, Prince, our dog, completely bolts, runs at them. They run away towards darkness, literally even more darkness. Like, I'm telling you, this night was dark like no other. I don't understand it to this day. This dog, my dog, runs after them. They run away. Wolves aren't, aren't dumb. Actually, they they allow dogs and other dumb uh, creatures to chase them, thinking, oh, let's play. And then they would get ambushed when it's too far or whatever. I believe that is what they were trying to do with my dog, right? My dog ran for them. There was no leash, no nothing. I had no way of grabbing him. I get up, right? We both just burst up. We, we bounce up to the to our feet. I'm calling out, Prince, Prince. Usually with that alone, I'm telling you, he usually obeys. My girlfriend, she starts yelling, like if someone was killing her, you know what I mean? So she completely just panicked. Thankfully, the Lord revealed that to her, that her faith needs to grow more in the name of Jesus. Guys, I'm not boasting about myself here. What if what I'm about to tell you? I'm boasting in the name of Jesus. Guys, his name is so powerful. It's incredible. As our dog went running into darkness, we can't see him anymore. I start walking towards wherever he was going, but they're far gone. Now it's like no longer 50 feet. They probably went like 75, 100 feet from me. To the point where there was only this one lamp stand that literally was useless all you could see was the garbage can under it from a trail this happened in like two seconds guys i'm telling you all this that i'm telling you well i'm taking my second step instinct kicks in but that instinct wasn't the instinct of the flesh it was literally the instinct of having faith in jesus christ our lord and savior guys i'm telling you i yelled prince prince nothing my voice meant nothing it had no authority it had no power I then yell out, and thanks to the Holy Spirit, because there was no way my mind could have just said, mm, let me try the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come back. I go quiet and I'm looking, right? I'm trying to now listen to where they're attacking my dog, if they are, so that I could be guided by the sound and maybe jump the dogs, you know what I mean? I don't care. I'm going to go full on Samson in this. At this point, guys, I went, it was quiet right and guess who i see just trotting back as soon as i said that well not even as soon it was like two seconds after because i had time to even listen to see if they were fighting or anything and he just comes trotting back near the trash can coming towards me that was a miracle because dogs guys they're not human beings they they have their natural instinct to just run you've seen the the movie up right squirrel they get distracted so easily you have a treat out you're trying to teach them tricks or something some dog comes walking by and now they're just focused on that dog no matter what you have in your hand they want to go see that dog for him to not have listened to me saying prince prince then he listened to the command in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come back. <sighs> you cannot say Jesus Christ does not have power. You cannot say Jesus does not do miracles. Although it may not have been a miracle where someone's hand grew out of their nub or someone's leg got straightened out or maybe someone gained sight or something. I'm telling you right now, if you decide to believe this testimony that truly did happen, guys, I wouldn't be telling you if, if it wasn't a thing. You know what I mean? And I wanted to tell that testimony that same day, to be honest with you, because it happened a while back, two months back. Until now, I am able to speak to you guys what this testimony did for my life. And it really gave me even more joy in the name of the Lord. It gave me more encouragement that the name of the Lord is to be respected. It's to be honored and held 
high. It shall be exalted, guys. Philippians 2, 9 to 10, it says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place, him being Jesus, and gave him the name that is above every name. <sighs> My voice saying, Prince, Prince, was nothing. Even though I raised him for three years, he's in love with me. He listens to my voice only, nobody else. Yet my voice meant nothing. It was as filthy rags. But as soon as I say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to come back, I've never seen him so obedient. I've never seen him re like, guys, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth that means in heaven every angel every principality in the second heaven on earth even my dog had to bend his will to chase these dogs had to bend over had to kneel down his nature before the name of jesus christ and under the earth i mean hell any anyone in hell really anyone who decided to deny the name of the lord if we look at john 14 verse 12 to 15 very truly i tell you says jesus right whoever believes in me will do the works i have been doing which is healing the sick raising the dead casting out demons you know what i mean and they will do even greater things than these because i am going to the father i'm not saying calling my dog from being ravagedly literally just torn apart by wolves is a greater miracle than saving someone from death, meaning hell, but it definitely did place a fear of God in my life to the point where I know Jesus is real and I know the power of Jesus. It lives in those who seek him. It's incredible. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, man. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son, you may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Guys, oh, I'm telling you this because the name of Jesus glorifies our Heavenly Father, the one who created everything, guys. God allowed my command. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come back. God allowed it to be heard and to be done. Wow. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Wow, that's incredible. Drop the mic. But guys, Verse 15 is very important. If you love me, keep my commandments. We gotta show him we truly love him. It's a lifestyle, guys. Christianity is not just a necklace you wear. Christianity is not just claiming to be a Christian. We gotta be more like Christ every day to the point where my dog, when he sees that command, he's not hearing my voice, but he's hearing the name Jesus Christ. <sighs> Incredible, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this. If you guys have a similar story, let me know. I do want to know. Comment down below, whatever it may be. Share this video. Maybe it'll, it'll surprise many people. Maybe it'll give them a fear of God a little bit. God bless you guys. May Christ be with you.